Hello and welcome to Delicate Sounds of Camping. Today I'm going to do a review on the Arctic Military Sleeping Bag. Now, I've got it out here at my feet at the moment, but I'm going to show you a picture of it in a stuff sack round about here now. And then another one with it laid out on the floor should be coming up round about now. The reason I've done that is because it'd be a big thing to set out on the, the floor and try and do a review of at the same time so I've done it this way. Right, this is the bag itself. That's the head end. And as you can see, the crash zip it's got a firmer level lever thing inside the crash zip. So when it does up, There's an extra level of warmth inside there that covers the zip so no cold can get through. As you can see by the thickness of it, it is really thick. This can go down, I think, I think it's to minus 20. So yeah, it is a really thick, heavy duty sleeping bag. Um, inside of it, if I open it up completely, it only zips down halfway. You can get these that zip down the complete length as well. These are crash zips, you can just pull them open and they do come out. Now inside, you, you get two pockets to put bits in. You can use these either inside or outside, so it doesn't matter. So you can either have the bags, the pockets were outside, just fold it inside out, or have it so the pockets were inside the right way around. It's totally up to you. But there's one of the pockets. And there's the other pocket. Um, it is a big heavy sleeping bag. It does keep you extremely warm. I used it for the first time on a wild camp I did over at the Dream in St. Helens. Now, I'd only had it a few days when I did that camp out. And, um, it was way too hot and I decided that it's only going to be used now when the temperatures are really cold. Um, it is a general military one because there's the person's name who, who, who owned it. It was made in 1992. So that's a long time ago and it still holds its warmth, it's still lovely, It's there's no seepage from to, uh, to any other bits of the bag so I know a lot, a lot of these the stitching can go here so the stuff can slip around but this one not an issue and you can still feel the down it so it is a really good bag it is extremely heavy but it is a good bag I would recommend these um, I paid £40 for this off Prepare for Adventure um, in his army surplus sl sl um, section. Um, they are good, they are warm. I really do like it. Um, this is what's going to get me for a lot of my wild camps, winter wild camps this like, year will be this bag. So or any wild camp videos I do this year, I will be using this. So you'll probably get to see it more in those videos. Um, it is quite a huge bag, as you can see. That's the whole thing. And it does weigh, it does weigh quite a lot. Uh, seriously, if you got one of these and just just half of it, you can feel the weight in it. So, but that's the warmth. That's everything that it's going to do for like your went once you're out there. Um, absolutely love the sleeping bag. I've got a jungle one, which is the same sort of thing. But a lot thinner so that's which really hot but this is what i'm going to use in the depths of winter so thank you very much for watching today's video i'm really impressed with it it's the arctic military sleeping bag genuine issue and i bought it from the surplus section of prepare for adventure can't say enough about the bag it's brilliant and I hope to see you again soon on a video of Delicate Sounds, Sounds of Camping. And thank you very, very much. And 
take care and I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you again soon on another review or another camping trip. Take care, thank you very much and goodbye.